you have uh, on the eve of colonization and throughout the entire 17th century is a social philosophy that the rulers are the people who can control their lifestyles, okay? Uh, and, um, and that everybody else who can't, the common laborers, because, you know, if, if you were um, a peasant in England in the 17th century or in early America, uh, you, you couldn't just call up the, or call up, sorry, <laughs> couldn't just go to the farmer who employed you and say, oh, you know, I'm feeling a little hot and dry today. I don't think I should exercise. I'm going to stay in bed to balance out my system, right? Or, and you couldn't say, oh, you know, I'm tired of eating bread and cheese and beer. Can I have some of that beef and some of this wine? And can I have some of those fruits and vegetables? Because those will balance out my system and I'll feel better. So, so. Uh, where I'm going with this is that this was a social philosophy that the, f the philosophy of food reinforced. The only people who could rule were the people who were capable of controlling their lifestyle because according to the philosophy, they were the only people who could be virtuous, right? And you don't want non-virtuous people being your rulers. You want the best people to be your rulers. And it all gets down to that daily lifestyle of particularly what you eat, but also what you do. And another important factor was whether or not you had control over your own lifestyle and your own work, you know, particularly your labor and food. <laughs>